Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install OpenOffice onto Windows 10. So to do this I'm going to open up my Firefox web browser and here I've got my Google search bar. I'm just going to type in OpenOffice. You just go to google.co.uk or .com and type in OpenOffice and you're going to see Apache OpenOffice. So I'm going to click on this and when I get to the website it's going to ask me a few things. It's going to say, I want to learn more about OpenOffice. I want to download and install it. So you can click here and learn more about it. But for now, we're just going to click on this green arrow section here to download the software. And you see there's various options. So there's Linux, there's Mac version. So if you're on Apple Mac, you can download Apple Mac version. There's a Linux version here and there's a Windows version here as well. So I'm going to install the Windows version and we want to install the most latest version. You can all install older dated versions but let's just install the most recent version. You can also download the language packs in case you want to use a, a different language but in this case we're just going to be using English language so I'm going to click the full download installation. Once we do that it's going to take us to SourceForge where the files are stored and we just need to wait a few seconds for the download to start and here a little pop-up window will appear to say that we can download the file sometimes if you're using a different web browser you may see that at the bottom of the screen but you should see something requesting for you to download the file I'm going to click save and we're just going to wait for that to download it may take a bit of time, it's 134 meg but I've got a pretty fast connection here and the software is, is downloaded so I'm going to click on this download and it's going to prepare to install we can minimize this for the minute. We'll just give it a few seconds. My Norton's is just checking that the software is safe. It's got a nice green tick, that's what we want to see. I'm not sure if you can see this screen, but it's just asking me to confirm if I want to install OpenOffice. You may not be able to see that on my screen. I'm just going to click yes, and then this window should pop up. And we're going to click next and install and the software will start to install that's it we're done click next you can put in uh, your email address and username and you don't really need to put anything in here to be honest but you can if you want username and organization click next click typical uh, it says create a start link on your desktop. You can do that, so it will create a start link on your desktop. We just say OK. This will take a few seconds to complete. Okay, we're done so you notice on your desktop you've got this start icon but you've also got this folder this is the folder where it extracted all the files for installation you don't need this folder anymore so you can just drag and drop it into the recycle bin and you can just empty your recycle bin if you like you don't need that anymore you've got the file you've got the the launch it's almost like a, a launcher you can think to access all the different applications in open office so if I click on this When I, when I click on that, it's going to open and say, do you want to make a text document, a spreadsheet, a presentation, do you want to do a drawing, create a database, use formulas, create something from a template. So you can select any of these options. This is like Microsoft Word, this is like Excel, and this is like PowerPoint, and this is like uh, Access Database. These are the equivalents of what you would find on Microsoft Office. So that's pretty much straightforward. Um, let's close this. On my Start menu, uh, if we go to... Where are we here? You should also see this in your start menu underneath here, open office. And normally what I do is, uh, as an example, let's take uh, draw, I don't have draw. Normally what I'll do is left click on here, drag and drop it into a square here, for example. So you can see I've done impress, writer and calc. I've got them already here. I don't really need this one, but I'll leave it here for now. So whenever I need to, normally I don't have this blue icon there, normally I'll get rid of this. 
and from this from the options here when I find open office uh, where are we I just drag and drop the icons in here then I just call it office application so I can access them quite easily from here that's how I prefer to access them so it's up to you this one um, I'm just going to unpin it don't really need that and drag this one up and then I just access them from here so now that you've got it installed it would be nice if you can find out how to use the software and you can do that by going back to if you go to um, YouTube so if you go to youtube.com slash user slash DCP web designers you're going to come to my um, YouTube page and you'll see that I've done open office tutorials I've done loads of different tutorials on open office and you can learn quite a lot about open office from here I've done ones on spreadsheets on word documents or open office um, word document editing so there's loads of different uh, tutorials here that you can check out for open office I'm going to be doing some more later as well so feel free to have a look at these tutorials and you may learn something from that okay that's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next one